This is Happy Arkham Studios, and this is Nate Nessler. And basically, we're doing a video number six here, and I realized that I didn't go over continue, break, and pass for loops. So I'm going to do that here real quick, and so you can get an idea of how that works. Now, there are certain situations when you're doing loops where you're going to want to skip loops, uh, iterations altogether, or um, kick out of the loop altogether. So let's have a look at that real quick. Um, in this case, I'm going to do a range of like 0 to 10. That sounds good. And I'm going to do a colon. And then I'm just going to print count. So, you know, as you normally would see, this is going to be a really simple program. That's it right there. And I just need to put this into data. Then programming, you can put yours wherever you want. Uh, it's got my stuff going in here in this direction. All right, so um, say a loop, I don't know, break. I'm going to put uh, underscores between them, maybe. I don't know. Break. Um, let's see, we're going to do continue. And then the other thing we're going to do is pass. Okay. And this is going to be a dot .py. For Python. Okay, so now if I run the script real quick, check it out. Bam. And we get 0 through 9. Awesome, that's what we're looking for. Let's go back to our code. Alright, so it's what we expect. It's nothing new here as far as that goes. But what if we wanted to change things? What if we said that maybe for uh, using if condition statement here and nest that inside of our loop? So if count is, uh, let's say here, 5, count is equal to 5, let's do it like that. So if count is equal to 5, then we need to uh, continue. Uh, and else, if it's not equal to 5, then we just need to execute normally. Okay. So let's just go ahead and tap that over, and we're done. So what's going to happen is continue makes you skip a loop iteration wherever it encounters it. So when we hit 5, we shouldn't see 5 get listed, basically. And so we get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it skipped that loop iteration. I can make it skip multiple loop iterations if I wanted to. You know, if I said if count is equal equal to is say say if count is greater than five and count count is less than maybe uh, nine, then then we do our continue. And so now we're going to skip several loop iterations here during our loops. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, nine. Right, because we did that range by using the and. So this had to be true and that had to be true right there. So what if what if we want to do something a little different? What if we wanted to break instead? Break means get out of the loop altogether. Not a problem. And say we need to end this loop for some reason prematurely before it should finish. We can use break to do that. So it goes to zero, one, two, three, four, five, and just the loop it exits out, it stops. It doesn't kill the program, but it automatically jumps to the next command after this. Which there isn't one, so that's why it stopped, but if there was one, it would do the command following after the for loop here. Uh, and then there's one more we can do, and it's called pass. And what pass does is it makes it do a no compute. Basically, do not do any computations. It's more efficient. We used back when for timers with games and things of that nature. Um, still could use it from time to time, uh, but it makes it more efficient. So let's uh, have a look at it real quick. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9. And when it's doing the uh, 6, 7, 8 part, it's just not computing at all. And so that basically is uh, continue, break, and, uh, and pass. So there's all three, and that's what it does when you do those. Well, that's basically it. And in the next uh, set of videos, we'll start going over objects and the actual game.
So it's just a short little one uh, before we jumped into the game. I realized I hadn't covered this and I needed that to uh, kick this one out. Okay. Thank you very much. This is Nate Nessler for Hyperactive Studios. Bye-bye.